adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. I'm hype. What's up? Show me what's up. This is a story game. I'm not going to really do too much talking. I'm going to try to pay attention. See what's going on. City Hall. Okay. I'm Gotham. Okay, look like an elevator, important elevator, security guard. Ooh, right up in his face. Okay, these niggas is not playing, I bet. So this is a serious villain. City of Gotham. Skull, his faces. That's it. Mayor Hill. Alarm going off. Get it open. On it. They didn't realize that. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Stay focused. Yeah, I did it. I must not know Batman, bro. Was it me or was the train really going under, um, upside down? Was that reflection? Christ. Move in. Clean, bro. And these niggas stepped on a wire, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, this is serious. Gordon, they're on the fifty-second floor. I'm going in. Hey, wait, wait for backup. Don't need it. Take the stairs. My nigga said, "Don't need it." You know, send three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. That's all the other flying animals. Harvey Dent as mayor of Gotham? Hmm, Easter egg. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. I think this thing is just press buttons. Oh, yeah. Shoot this nigga, dog. You see him coming at you. And I go, what? Well, he said it's Batman. Shoot your gun. Too late now, bro. Oh. That boy was scary. I can't keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. I can handle it. <gasps> Shit! The hell he go? Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Yeah, y'all niggas don't know this is Batman, bro. What was that? Yo, <laughs> this nigga fucking with y'all, bro. Y'all scary. Right up on your head. Smoke. Stealth mode. Let's get it. Pull up one. Pull up another. Run, nigga, run. Oh yeah. You seen what I did to all your niggas? 
I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take it down, boy. We got what's up? We dancing? What's up? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh. 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 Oh, come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. Oh. Oh, get out of here. Oh, what the hell? I don't even know if I got that right, bro. <laughs> Not sure if I got any of that right, bro. Kind of slow. Way too slow. Uh, of course. Mother teach you to knock? Catwoman, of course. Behind you, big boy. That's Bay right there, man. Sorry, buddy. It's us. Oh, it's filthy. Oh, come on, Bay. Wait, hold up. Chill. Oh, we got a slot. Oh, we got it. She got it. Okay. What's the move? Stairs? T flying up? Grab the glove? Yep. Yep, let's get up here. <laughs> we out, niggas. If you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. Baby, you know you can't escape me. Let me fly up on here real quick. So far. Oh. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. You know what? Then let's put you in a cage. Let's start wilding out with some of these questions, bro. Okay. Bring it, bat. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. No, sir. No. Nope. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Some nice moves. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, you got my feet? How you let her get your feet, bro? Slice that up. Come in here. Oh, oh, right up in your face. <laughs> no bullshit. Uh, let's see. We try to answer as truthful, as fun as possible. For some of these, I'd be forgetting. Cause part of me, I'm thinking, what would Bat? If I was Batman, what would I say? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. But oh, fuck it. Oh, oh, that was kind of slick. You let her get. You, you let her get away with that, Batman. <laughs> No, I missed. Oh, did I get her? We role playing right now. Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Do not shoot. Ah! 
Give me that. Whoop. Whoop. Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit. A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. Oh, they just shot at Batman, you dummy. No. Batman took a bullet. My God, it's about time Batman had a, a bulletproof uh, suit, bro. Make no sense. Ah. I missed that like a split second, bro. really be able to do that in real life, bro. Guess I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Too slick for me, baby man. No worry, and we're gonna get her one day. I ain't worried, she's gonna be back. This nigga got a bullet in his stomach. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Hmm. Interesting. Is that was that episode one? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this oh, okay. city has burned with corruption and greed That's under good. Mayor Hill's authority. <clears throat> I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause. He would. Sh well, there he is, fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. <laughs> no, he's he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. <laughs> Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening Fair your call. house to us. <laughs> now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? Get the sus from fake. Rooting billionaire angle? The sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. I already know your story, bro. You, see the you fake. Wayne, am I right? <laughs> Harvey Dent, I know you two face, nigga. Here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney <laughs> thing. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. 
your face specifically with a mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I just don't like being someone I'm not. What, what are you talking about? You are Gotham's golden sun. Let them bask in your radiant glow. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around, uh, mayor, if it was me, really, I'd have been drinking. Campaign. I don't even hear what he said. It's a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Hans? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but... This night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, well, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. A uh, tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. I'm not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. I really don't trust you, bro. So I wonder if I was, like, already outed you out. Well, hello. Yeah, they kind of do. He oh, was. He was. Next mayor. <laughs> I'm eager to know you. Vicky he Vale. Was. 
not interested and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is mm, a private kind of bad, maybe what's up? No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce. I like her, baby. What's up? Toss her up, whatever. Oh, come on now, it's so formal. Call me Bruce. Plus, she's gonna take you down, so well, I kind of want that. Bruce, I want her to stay here. Going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mm. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like. Spilled some wine. It, it'll come out. You stick to clear alcohols, Bruce. They never stain. You got a drinking wine, bro. Got me a wine cooler over here. The Justice League's not bad, actually. The new Snyder Cut. I do excuse me, Master Bruce, but. Uh... Was I supposed to do something there? I might have missed that. Has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Falcone. Is the dead gangster soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. See? I saw him just listening. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. Oh, what the fuck is he, nigga? Good morning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. What a bitch. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings. What you doing in my house, nigga? Cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Can't afford this shit, nigga. Well, you couldn't afford it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. I ain't about to slap your hand, nigga. You're a respectable man, I hear. What you want to do, nigga? Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. What <laughs> you done this with, bro? You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Of course, nigga. You got this word. You thought I was really gonna trust you? <laughs> yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. 
chop this for me. Here, pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happens to being a gracious host. Nigga, you do that shit okay, yourself. Magic. I should have tossed that this shit at you. Me. <laughs> and these are all but normally I would have just left it. I would have left it. I wouldn't have tossed the it. Businesses, out. restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. <laughs> Nigga said chalk this up for me. <laughs> That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Don't worry about your ass, man. Next time I see you, it's soon go. Oh, that was just only the beginning? Okay, I like it. All right, makes sense. It's me. Realm of Shadows. Okay, I think I can get behind this. This is actually not bad at all. Another brutal week in Gotham, folks. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime infested East End. Mm, crime is boosting up. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> so I might just give you one episode today. Maybe two. We'll see how it goes. She was really after them. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dan calls upon the mayor's office to take public stand against the wave of vigilante action sweeping the streets. The city appointed Lieutenant James Gordon to lead a major task force after a criminal charter in the Gotham underworld recently increased to an alarming degree. In a press conference earlier today, Lieutenant Gordon insisted that we are aware 
of nefarious elements appearing and mobilizing in a mass in our city? President, they are unknown. At present, they are unknown, but not unnoticed. We will find them. Wayne's Enterprise, yep, we did talk about that in the meeting. So that's about it, right? Hold on, hold on. Let me see this. Let me see this. I feel like there's something. Okay, so this is the codex. Okay, my parents, Alfred, Harvey Dent, the mayor, Exhibit A, and what's wrong with the city. Hill should have been thrown out of office years ago, but he got his hands wrapped around the Gotham's government in a death grip. He's been suspected of numerous crimes, but they've never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core, and one day the city will realize that Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully this upcoming election will end. And so the mayor is corrupt. Cat burglar, that's all I know her as so far. Uh, this lady was, oh, the journalist. She was fine. That's Bay, that's Bay right there, I guess. So, it's, so I guess his love interest must be her or Catwoman. Must be her. It must be uh, Vale. When did I see Cobblepot? I didn't see Cobblepot. He was a childhood friend, but almost stranger to me now, just like me. His family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England. And there, yeah, other past the bridge. He seems to be falling into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet. Strange name, the penguin. What happened to you, Oz? Okay, so this must be like he's still fresh in the game? Because. Alfred was talking to him like he's been in the game too long. And then this Penguin is pretty much not really Penguin yet. Because he doesn't have the eye patch or the leg, no? Would be fat? He seemed like a young Penguin. I don't know, Penguin looked a little older. Okay, so Gotham Feeds. Okay, so that was the Codex. This is Gotham Feeds. So this is what's happening, I guess, today. So replacement, the funds, which I know about, and then... Police lieutenant, what was we talking about here? Oh yeah, people are mobilizing in the city. And Dent pressures mayor. Mayor is corrupt. But Dent ain't that nice neither. So get the drive, let's get the drive. Oh, let's get the drive now. Nearly fell off a building for this? And I lies where? Over right here? I'm Harvey Dent, and I approve this message. Movie tickets. Oh, your dad's. Yeah, huh? Talk about dirty politics. Fuck. Okay, okay, that's what that means. Think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Will not be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign. Yeah, unemployment near record highs, investors withdraw from the city. So there's a fire still going on. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown. So this holographic lenses, voice modulation. Wayne Enterprises really outdid themselves with this version. So that's your mask. Where am I supposed to go? So the, the gangs are at war right now. Is a mobster just died? So Falcone must be at war. It's not only the start to everyone's story. Okay, it yep, makes sense. Spare grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. Can deliver a jolt or knock out electricity in the area. And I suppose that Catwoman would have preferred the latter. The newest addition. Can program it to reveal trace elements in a confined space. Oh, the test run at the mayor's office was a success. I should see if I can refine the edge. Could be sharper.
He said thing to thing at the back computer, right? So I guess I have to go back to the computer. Okay, there we go. My fault. Slow moment. Sorry. Seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, Catwoman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. Of things money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. <laughs> That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? <laughs> it can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I don't like being compared to a common criminal. No, I think you're missing the point. You have to admit you've been drawing a lot of attention to yourself. And not the playboy billionaire buys new yacht kind of attention. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out, Al. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls he endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. After just a being a parent, bro. That's what parents do. So I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. They support you to the very end. The <laughs> They're always going to look out for you. I thought 
I saw Oz in what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed, you two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. You think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So we got Penguin, Catwoman. They might throw another villain in there, but I guess... Oh, Two-Face? So all three of them? I remember his family was rich. Where are you, Oz? Well, he's out looking for us. Shuns. See, if I was shaking his hand, it'd probably say Wayne shakes his hand. <laughs> okay, that's not homeless person. Give change or look at it. What am I doing, bro? I just want to make sure there was something over here I was supposed to look at, right? Looks like I look like graffiti. So I guess he's, I guess Cabo Park really had a terrible life, man. I feel you. Cabo bought from the streets, he's a criminal, bro. Give him some change. Okay, so why didn't I give the other person change? Let's just examine my mans. Damn, bro. Hmm. I feel bad. I mean, you are rich, nigga. You could give him some change, nigga. The other nigga ass. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go pick you up some crack real quick. Sprinkle that in with your sandwich. You know I'm playing. He probably won't go to get crack, but you know, probably meth. Somebody calling me. We got a text. Great. Meet me at the statue. Statue, but no Oz. Looking at a shopping cart, what I need to look at a shopping cart for, man. <laughs> I mean, well, what, what do what, what do home, what drugs do homeless people use? In my city is meth. Tell that man to stop smoking. Hey, beat it. <laughs> this nigga want to talk to me, girl. Nigga said, beat it, nigga. I ain't got time to be talking to you, nigga. I don't know you, nigga. Well, it isn't what it used to be.
watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you. And him. <laughs> Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. leading the moment! Come here. You think oh. that'll do? This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Damn, bro. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? Oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Hey, good as new. Woo, that was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. It's been, what, two decades? And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. He's a childhood friend. This city. A little bit more story. connection, so I'll be nice. But he got to pick himself Mom up, though. Committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. Nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, hey, unlimited bro. potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce. I know. I'm sorry for it. But I had my own funerals to attend. Yeah, I'm not blaming you either, bro. But you can't become blaming me. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily. Oh. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... Oh, okay. It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Trying to kill Falcone, huh? Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than our plan. I kind of like anti-villains, bro. Are gonna be on the Falcone soon, might no? have to die, but I'm Batman, so should I really let him die? Is on mm, that's the real question. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's this. Revolution starts. We're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Are you threatening me, Oz? Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. 
which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Yeah, but he don't kill though. Like to me, anti-hero is like place. you kill. I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Like Punisher to me is an anti-hero. Mm -hmm. Deadpool is an anti-hero. He don't give a fuck. He just do what he want to do. And then sometimes he ends up being nice and decides to be nice. And other times he don't give a fuck, you know? Those are like anti-heroes to me. That's facts, though. He should have. He should have been killed. He should have killed. Should have killed Joker, but it's that Joker out here killing all these niggas. Yep. Mr. Wayne, over here. I guess right <laughs> This way. My bad, I had that hero. Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. That played a part. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> uh, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. We're still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Damn. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man Damn. here, Better call we Alfred, break bro. ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham bro, play this and citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? For those with mental health issues, there are no cuts or scrapes. Their ailments are often invisible, but inside, they're suffering. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility, and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and I didn't Martha like that Wayne, I didn't like any of those really. A new era of healing for Gotham. I'm a... Uh, Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. Uh, we all right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question. Please. I don't make friends with gangsters. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? 
But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? <laughs> and did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? <laughs> Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations Niggas be don't true? listen, huh? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control it's coming from you, control nigga. Later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. Cut him loose. Come from him, nigga. Please, you mad I didn't put him in a uh, meeting? Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Police inside the manor? What the hell? For what? I'm hip. I feel hey, it. Hey, careful. Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This Warren. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I'm sorry, are you arresting me? Not unless I'm forced to. We're only collecting evidence today. I didn't do anything. That's what we're here to find out. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill. Signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I, we have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. The fact that I'm Batman, nigga. They do that shit on purpose. Dead ass, bro. Cops don't be giving a fuck. I hurt, boy. Bruce, stay back. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, it's... It's not a problem, really. Oh, Bruce. First the mayor's office, now... Wait. It was just some regular thug, Gotham bro. continues its streak of break-ins. 
Just a random dog that decided to take their family his life. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have. Come on, no bro, think about it. You got Falcone, you got. No one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble. I feel like this is more politically motivated. Hill wants me out of the picture because with my backing, Harvey wins in a landslide. All signs point to Hill. <sighs> You're a kingmaker, Mr. Wayne. And Harvey Dent is Gotham's knight in shining armor just waiting for the crown. You're the first target on Hill's list. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Vale. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hate to admit it, but maybe next time we should go back to A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of announcements. My family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this. On the anniversary of your parents, it's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then it's true find too. out why he didn't. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. For now, it, it it could feel it could be Harvey because I didn't put him in the meeting with with me. So it could be him to twist that story into that with Falcone. It could be Falcone. We got a lot of enemies, so we gotta stay on our P's and Q's. That's Harvey. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? You tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Well, that's just not good enough, Harvey. Listen, I'll look into this. I swear. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's got to be politically motivated. Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low, even for Hill. It's, okay, it's Falcone, dude. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. But the thing is, if I get in the way of this, he was to do that, then he put himself under fire. Of so and I can't that feel be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. Then I'll go it alone. I've got plenty of resources to fight this. We're in a bind here, Bruce. I'll do whatever I can to help. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. K. 
Catwoman. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Hey. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Kyle. Selena Kyle. Catwoman. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, I sure hope whatever he took wasn't too valuable. Actually, it was. It's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? <laughs> Do you I'll know? handle it. Better. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. What do you want with Harvey? Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. It must be important. What's on the drive? I don't know. You don't know what you've stolen. It's not my business to know. My clients don't know who I am, and I don't know who they are. Or what they're moving. But you know who I am. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. You thought. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address now. No. Give me the drive. Selena, please give me the address. Oh, he says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. 
Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got to run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> no, I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> She funny, I like her. <laughs> Alright, don't worry, we're gonna go handle that. Come back. <laughs> oh, it's only 8.55? Okay. I'm kinda early. Got another hour left I can do. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Damn, the boys got murked. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Hmm. There's a croc. Nothing left to bury. Probably the alligator dude. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful. Scarecrow? Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, non-explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Mm -hmm. Kong got a little confused there. I've seen these outfits before. Yep. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Hmm. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Someone drove off after continue linking.
Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. Okay. So then where do I go? I'm confused. White, White rose. What's that? Uh, ivory? Oh, calling card. Oh. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skylight Club. This cop got burnt up. This man's been badly burned. The damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Damn. Sensors say it's an incendiary room. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. So are we done here? Oh no. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Seen a bullet do that. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that in the local gun store. It appears military. So the face So nothing's over here like that So I can't link that pretty much no Or maybe I can actually hold on
Okay, no, I cannot. Hold on. Okay, so I gotta find something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Okay, so then where's that? Oh. Confused. Okay, so I guess it's bloody hands and his fate ripped up face. The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. Them psychotic. Really, nigga? What? It, it was good, see, Prince. Yes. It was good, bro. Balcony leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. His snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men got them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Dead shot, maybe? Have sniper? You the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I think I was supposed to do the first one on top. No trace of phosphorus, though. Could have been shot from here. This is my first time playing it too. Trace. There we go. For a spike, clear vantage point. We have a winner. I don't know if it's, I'm not sure. Issa might know it better. I feel like this is the only Telltale game. I like the first episode of it, but. This is the first is the right spot. Telltale game I've ever seen for Batman. Go. Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. Don't 
Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcony, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. Tell me! That catwoman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. We had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Uh, Someone must have heard us. Call the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Balcony wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> oh, please, no. I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals... Some kind of explosive. A weapon. I don't know. Balcony said he'd use them soon. Used? Where? That's all I know. I swear. I swear. I told you everything I know. You're an animal. You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. I was wrong. Gonna need that ambulance, too. The hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. <laughs> you know that you're right. It's too far, Bruce. Took it too far, Bruce. Nah, his arm needed to go. Killed too many people there. You lucky I ain't kill. I ain't the real Batman. I'm black man. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. He ain't died. Didn't raise you this way. Neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave, has to be done hard Alfred good thank you man I appreciate you There's, don't lose that this is the life I chose I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject trust me I won't lose my way it's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again so long as you can find your way back you bury the person Bruce but you never bury the memory sometimes I wish I could That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. 
When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Alright, let's figure out what's going on here, man. Well, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. It's gotta be... Mm. Fuck. Gotta be Gordon, bro. He's the police. But we don't work with police. <laughs> she cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. <laughs> wise decision, sir. <laughs> We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky, Nigga said, hold up. Man, I still went to a reporter, bro. I'm out here snitching. <laughs> Whatever Falcone is playing, Yo. it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised it... to trap you. No one has ever managed to... Realistically, to though, the I right... Tried you should have probably went to police. Because the reporter is probably going to end up being, uh, they're going to end up, they're going to end up trying to kill her. So you put her in danger. When, yes, they might try to kill police and he might have have the pocket, have the police in his pocket. So maybe, you know, but at least with a reporter, everybody, it'll be come public. So people will be outraged. So hopefully. This. This is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's going to be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this, I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is going to be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, it, God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I'm here. I'll protect you, I promise. <laughs> Chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not Batman. <laughs> I always think crime in the city, it's a hydra. You cut off one Only criminal's you hand. Know. Place. I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. Lieutenant Gordon. He has his badge in the right place. Yeah, well, I hope that's enough. Sometimes the rest of the force, they, they have their own agenda. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. 
public attention. That's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. So after my story runs, you might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. You do got to protect her, though. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. But you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Oh, word? That's the Batmobile, too, nigga? Where she just came back was like, what the fuck? I left something at the cliff. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right, let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. <laughs> kind of wild, okay. And I got one more. So I got another one. Okay, yeah, this guy. Reactivating drone cameras. 
Alright, well, so what's this one doing? I kind of don't like, I like the other one. I like the other one, my fault. Oh, yes. Reactivating drone cameras. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go up here. I lucky kind of want to... I kind of want to go back and do the other ones too. <laughs> See what other different things we can come up with. But we're going to go with this one. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? Yes, sir. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. No, I'm hip. Yeah, I'm hip. I figured. I just wanted to... Toss, nigga. Got a whole screamer. It's still bad, man. Oh no. Yeah, y'all better run. Oh yeah, what's up? Three of y'all? Come on, buddy. 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 Come on, son. You thought this was over? Oh, you wish. Get tossed. You better not go with you. Oh, yeah? You about to come in? You get tossed with him. You get both of y'all off. Yeah, get tossed. What'd it do? Oh, you too? Oh, we out of here. You shot your old mans, bro. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Oh, this nigga. Ooh. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Ah, I missed. Lion, what? Wow, that's wild. I really died off that. <laughs> I didn't time it perfectly. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Whew. Niggas really died off that, bro. That's crazy. Almost stabbed him. 
Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something freaks about this old thing. And it is a dead bat. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Unless chemicals get so riled up about, they're mine, all right? <laughs> you lucky, bro. But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the dock. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Nah. Ah. Gotham. Ah, you lucky, lucky, lucky bum, man. That man got a... Pops was really out here like that. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire. Your pops is really gang gang. Okay. Let me find out, bro. I kind of want to go back and see what brutalizing him would do. I'm a nice guy, man. I'm a nice guy, man. I don't want to kill nobody. Don't force me to, man. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone. Who was found dangling over a 50 story drop? Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and a stunning expose by Gazette reporter Vicky Vale, Falcone's going away for a long This is good though. Time. I mean, Issa, I trusted and you speaking though. Speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. Cabo Pot? Think so? On the Wayne Enterprises tower Penguin could have? Assuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. That this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest no, I never son, it, Bruce Wayne seen here in the company of gangsters may be just as crooked as his parents in his defense wayne fired back saying the wayne family has always been a cornerstone of gotham we have never had and never will have connections to organized crime i definitely didn't think he was wrong bro Wayne's, our golden family are corrupt. i just all i play is madden bro <laughs> that's all i was playing for a while sports games so and like when I wanted to play this, I wanted to play for the stream. You feel me? But it had to be on a perfect time. Sometimes, you know, today just happened. Like this week just happened. But uh, like I still have to finish the Warriors. I don't know. Just you know, I just been playing the basketball game. That's all. This entire cave. Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. 
If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Uh -uh. So your parents was against us? Mm. I didn't, man, you know. This is what it is, man. Pops and moms was G's. I gotta go out like a G next time, man. You feel me? You feel me? Did you stick up for Harvey in front of... No. No. Did you stick up for Harvey? No, I did not. Oh, sorry. Took the wrong remote. I did not. Did you provide the quote? 85% did. Mm. 40, you and 48% broke the arm. Okay, so other people, damn, 72% 72 of people are cops, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, okay. I showed restraint in that last one. <laughs> All right, I kind of liked it. Let me see if I can find a way if I can pause it. Though. When your parents make a love change now, now. Okay, I'll pause it. Give me one second, guys. I'm just going to uh, bear with me.